Hello, my name is Kathy Wynn, and I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Please feel free to scan my QR code on the lower left-hand corner to connect with me via LinkedIn. Today, I will be going over the planning process of the Big Fix platform upgrade on SQL Database. Once again, this is just a pre-upgrade process and not the upgrade itself. So when we think of upgrading any type of software or application, it can be scary, worrisome, and a lot of times it's a tedious process. I know that was the case for me in my previous role as a Windows admin. I was always hesitant when I was tasked to upgrade any of the applications or software that we managed. Fortunately, though, this is not the case for Big Fix. So have no fear when a new version gets released. Big Fix upgrades are designed to be simple and easy, while also providing control and flexibility. Big Fix can pretty much update itself. When a new release comes out, the content or fixlets will also be published to the console. So basically deploying an upgrade is as easy as deploying any fixlet. You can also upgrade all Big Fix components manually but it is much easier to upgrade the majority, if not all, of the Big Fix components using the upgrade fixlets. Here we have the pre-upgrade checklist that applies to both local and remote SQL databases. Be sure to back up your database back up your big fix server or create a snapshot if it's a vm make sure to stop web ui service and any other active applications connecting to the big fix database now also keep in mind that if you're on a version earlier than 955 a manual server upgrade is required listed on the last line there is a task named big fix pre-upgrade check with its version in it for now, I have version 9514 since it's the latest. You can run this prior to the upgrade. This task basically performs a set of checks to verify if your Big Fix server can be successfully upgraded to version 9514. You will have some additional checks if you are on a remote SQL database. Check your authentication method and note the NT domain account used for the Big Fix server services or the SQL account used for SQL authentication. Make sure to take screenshots of your ODBC connections such as BES underscore BF Enterprise and BES underscore Enterprise Server. Also, make sure you verify the DB owner or SA rights for the account that is performing the upgrade. You want to make sure that the user has appropriate database permissions, and we highly recommend that user has SA rights. Here are a list of fixlets for upgrade in order. First, you will need to update the Windows installation folders. Basically, any endpoint that shows relevant to this first fixlet would have outdated Big Fix installers. It is recommended that you upgrade these installation folders so that you can install Big Fix 9514 components and all further installations of the Big Fix server, client, and consoles will be the latest version. Next up, for number two, you will have one fixlet to upgrade platform server components if you have a local database. This fixlet will upgrade the server, consoles, and web reports. Now, if you're on a remote database, then you will have two different fixlets, one to upgrade the server and console, and another one to upgrade web reports. The description tabs on both fixlets will have manual instructions on how to do so for the remote databases. 
after your server, your consoles and web reports have been upgraded, you will have fixlets to upgrade the relays. The fixlet name in number three is for Windows operating systems. This will vary depending on what relays you have in your environment on other operating systems. So you may see additional fixlets to upgrade your relays besides, besides just the one that I listed there. After you upgrade the relays, you can then upgrade your clients. Again, you will see that number four is the fixlet for upgrading the clients on Windows operating systems. You may see other fixlets to upgrade the clients on other operating systems in your environment. Lastly, once you're done with the upgrade in this order, we always recommend searching the Big Fix version under fixlets and tasks in the console. In this case, it's 9514. And you want to search this 9514 just to see if there are other fixes and tasks available for upgrades for things like the client deploy tool, proxy agent, and so forth. Finally, here's a tip and suggestion that we always give our customers before the upgrade. We be proactive and open a support ticket at support.bigfix.com. We recommend opening a support ticket at least a few days prior to the upgrade. That way it will be ready for you if you run into any issues during the upgrade. So for example, if there happened to be a system down issue that occurs during the upgrade, then you already have that ticket in queue and ready to go. Basically, you can just respond to the ticket via email or phone call, letting them know that there is an issue during upgrade so that that ticket can be bumped up to a severity one and ready to be worked on. That is all I have for the pre-upgrade process. Here are some useful resources for BigFix. BigFix.com provides offerings and features. As I mentioned just a bit earlier, support.bigfix.com is where you can enter support cases, check out our events and publications. Forum.bigfix.com is a great place to ask questions and get answers from the BigFix community. We're also on LinkedIn and Facebook. This concludes the video. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.